Summer's here and the time is right for getting back to the weekly farmer's market for some of your food and grocery needs. And for folks in the North Shire, those choices have been expanded even further as a farmer's market in Arlington, now in its second year, has been added to the mix. That market is held on Friday afternoons from 4 to 7 p.m. through the summer and on through until September 6th. Jessica Roberts, the market's manager, gave us some of the background when we visited the market on its opening day on June 21st. Because the community has just been so supportive, we've had a lot of people come and want to be vendors and there's a lot of excitement. I have so many volunteers who want to help. So right now, the spirit is just really high in the market. I don't know if it'll stay that way, but for now it's been terrific. I don't really have any complaints. We're excited about the market. Now you have a lot more vendors here this year than last year, it looks like. We do. We had about 13 last year, and this year we have all 34 tables taken almost every week. So, um, and we've got some kids programs coming up, and we've got special days uh, organized for this year. So we've got the live music every week. Uh, just started behind me, so we're real excited about it. I cried, I cried for you, a little darling. It breaks my heart to hear your name. Well, all my friends so loved you, my darling. They think that I am the blame. So I really tried hard this year to get a mix of different kinds of foods. We have meat vendors and cheese vendors and veggie vendors and berry vendors. Um, but we screen them. Uh, we have an 80-20 rule, so they have to have 80% of their market has to be agriculture. And it's a producer-only market. Everything they make, they have to grow or make themselves. That market joins two others in the neighborhood that have been around for quite a while now in Dorset and Manchester. Dorset's farmer's market runs year-round, and during the summer season now underway, it's held outside at the H.N. Williams store on Route 30. But it's not just about the freshly picked vegetables and fruits, home-baked breads and pastries, artisan cheeses, free-range eggs, and live music. There's also a healthy serving of arts and crafts, and that Vermont staple, maple syrup, available for purchase. And then there's the Manchester Farmer's Market, located on Adams Park in downtown. It's held Thursday afternoons from 3 to 6 p.m. and will be there until October 3rd. Whether it's bread, cheese, vegetables, or more arts and crafts, plus some live local music, the Farmer's Market is worth a visit. Karen Trubit of the True Love Farm, one of the vendors there, and there at several other markets as well, told us about what it's like on the other side of the vendor stall. We love meeting people. And we, at the Manchester Market here in beautiful Manchester, Vermont, uh, we meet a lot of travelers, but we also work with a lot of locals, and it's heartening to have great local, regular customers. But it's also kind of fun to meet people from all over the world. So, pretty neat. And there's also just a nice sense of exchange at the market, and uh, people sharing recipe ideas. Uh, customer was just here who had shared a recipe with me last week and all week long I've been wanting to try the recipe but I haven't yet and it's just kind of a I think it's a really nice form of culinary exchange and community building through um, that kind of informal sharing. Crystal Piccoli has managed the Manchester Farmers Market for several years and spoke about some of the challenges and how they screen their vendors. A couple challenges. Um, the main one is just vendor communication, talking with the vendors, figuring out scheduling needs, and getting everybody into the place that works best for their business. Um, and then also just like neighborly relations. We have neighboring businesses, and there's always going to be some tension between some of them. And then we've got some that are really supportive of what we're doing. And so that that's probably those two things are probably the biggest challenges. So it's a producer-only market, so everything that you're selling you had to have a direct hand in making. Um, you can't resell somebody else's products. And um, it is open to anyone in Vermont and any neighboring states in neighboring counties to Vermont. So we have some vendors from New York and they're from a neighboring county. Um, and. In terms of how vendors, uh, the, the process of applying, there is an application. Craft vendors need to send in pictures of their products and the board looks at them um, and they approve, you know, they, they approve the craft vendors based on their craft and food vendors based on whether or not they meet the rest of our criteria of being producer only. 
A lot of work goes on behind the scenes for these vendors to get ready for the farmer's markets. One of the vendors who maintains booths at all three of these markets is Earth Sky Time Farm, and on Thursday mornings, as they are getting ready for the Manchester's farmer's market, their bakery and kitchen is a busy place as they prepare their items for sale. Bonnie Levis of Earth Sky Time tells us about it. Basically, there's a lot of um, bread packing, um, there's a lot of produce packing for the markets that we take produce to. Um, on Thursdays, we pack up the hummus for the for the week and for the weekend markets. Um, and it, we have, you know, an awesome crew that kind of is able to take things on and take responsibility and, you know, knows how to put out things in a beautiful way and interact with the customers. And, and we're lucky that we have folks that can do things like that. Because Oliver and I couldn't ourselves do the eight farmers markets a week that we now do. Um, we make as much as we can, especially for the weekend markets, and usually sell out of, of, of that bread. At, on the Saturday markets, we're selling out at 11 and 12 o'clock in the morning for markets that start at 9 and, and 10 o'clock. So that's, um, you know, that's a good problem to have, I guess. <laughs> Several people we talked to said they enjoyed going to the markets as much for the experience, as well as to pick up a fresh loaf of bread or some vegetables or other locally grown produce. Vermont has several farmers markets and there's one near you. One more summertime box to check off. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.